I got one more speaker. Could we? Okay. Could we yeah, hold absolutely. Russ Bryant? Yes, sir. Oh, Aviva. Oh, this wouldn't be a hearing without you here. Do you bring a friend? I did bring if he's going to cough. Um, but yeah, that's definitely metaphorical, the invisibility of me because of what I'm talking about, which is the invisibility of hemp grain. Thank you for having me, by the way. Um, my name is Aviva Vuvuzela, and I founded the Georgia Hemp Economic Revival Organization over 10 years ago now. And Scribbles and I, we educate children and peep everyone about the benefits of industrial hemp, which does not include you know, anything smokable or anything like that. And it's incredible. I mean, the, this one pack of hemp seeds, if you added it to your ice cream, it would make you more insulative sensitive. So insulative, insulin uh, resistance means you might be getting a foggy head, you might be getting a little sleepy. So if you put this as sprinkles, and I think it's really yummy, then you counteract that. And so we're talking about this incredible nutrition, manganese, magnesium, potassium, omegas, every single amino acid the body needs. And so I think it's dangerous to not have this accessible to everyone because malnutrition leads to erratic behavior, disease, bouts of aggression. And I think a lot of us have malnutrition without realizing it because in the 40s, we stopped our relationship with this food. We might not have all been eating it, but our animals were. And so that meat had more omegas in it. It had more everything in it. So, so my issue is we have consumable hemp on the bill, but it doesn't include this. The feds have defined industrial hemp as any cannabis with less than 0.3% THC which the farm bill this year is going to present 1%. We define it in this bill as anything non-consumable. So I think that's an issue with the definition if we're going to include our amazing hemp seeds and the hemp protein powder and uh, hemp sprouts. So this is not actually hemp sprouts. Um, I haven't started that yet. But that is also legal, and that has bioflavonoids. Thank you. We're mm -hmm. going to move on. Appreciate you coming. Can I say? Hope you can come back. Just about the processing fee. If right. we define the industrial hemp and other things, why can't we define a lower processing fee? Because the industrial side of hemp need, you know, cotton is subsidized even. They can't afford a high processing fee that we have. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank Chairman, you for your Chairman Corbett oh, has a question. Sure. Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. And considering the number of new members we have on this committee, I think it would be a disservice if we did not get to hear from Squiggles. <laughs> I really do. I mean, they've never heard from me. Yeah. Representative oh. Corbett, I love you. <laughs> you are so sweet, and you're the one that can change the world by, you know, opening up a hemp fuel processing plant so we can have gasoline. I mean, you're very talented. Thank you so much. I did email all of you, so you have my emails if you have any questions. And Scribbles and I would be happy to put on a private show for you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Chairman Court. Um, I apologize to our committee. We really, I, I didn't realize we only had an hour today uh, when we reserved this room. We look forward to Chairman bringing this uh, bill back. Chairman's worked hard on this, so we're going to move on, and we'll be back uh, on Wednesday morning, I hope, with some more of that. We have our citrus industry in South Georgia is really growing. It's new and it's growing. And uh, new representative Chaz Cannon has a bill that I want to hear for the first time today concerning support of our uh, commodity, uh, our citrus industry. Uh, I know I have uh, saw my friend Linda Savelle here all the way from South Georgia who has really been instrumental in uh, pushing this industry down there and, uh, and is a part of it. Representative Cannon, the mic is yours. I am said I have to follow scribbles, but I guess I'll try to, you know. Good afternoon, Chairman Dickey, members of the committee. I'm um, here this afternoon to discuss House Bill 545, which would provide for the establishment of a commodity commission for citrus fruits. I guess that I'll be talking about a commission for hemp and cannabinoids at some point.